Hey guys, Susanna here for another episode of Hey Bright TV. Today, a short video talking about budget. I know that's one of the biggest questions over and over again, and that's also one of the reasons why we created the wedding budget at theweddingbudget.com um, to help with the little things that usually we don't think about and add up so much cost. But the one thing I want to talk today is about clarity, how important it is to have things clear from the beginning. It is so important to have a conversation the second you get engaged, first with the two of you to analyze how finances are and also to not expect things without talking. It's so important to have a conversation with both sets of parents in the event that you think or know that they are going to um, give money for the wedding. Nowadays, things are definitely different a lot of couples pay for their whole weddings because of you know we're getting married older so we're much better financially women are doing as much or even more money than men in many cases so it's not like before where the parents used to you know give the bride to the groom to take care of her and um, that's also why weddings would happen so fast now we have super long engagements um, because People want to either enjoy the process, uh, save money for their dream wedding and all of that thing. But the most important thing is talk. Talk since the beginning. Don't expect things. And one of the things that hurts the most is expecting something that you have never talked about. You just assume you were supposed to expect that. So ideally, you would talk first individually with your parents and him with his parents. Um, it would put less pressure on the parents um, than when both are there, because like, how do I say it? I don't want to seem cheap or whatever. Also, you want to be conscious of what it would ma do to your parents. Some parents are in a great economic condition and that's fantastic, but some parents have dream of their child's wedding and would do anything to make it just a fantastic day, but that would maybe set them in a debt for years that they shouldn't be taking necessarily. So think about that. Think um, how much of a stretch it is for them. Um, and also there's ways to work around it. Either they set an amount, sometimes they will ask for, for a budget and it's hard to have a specific budget, but you can have some sort of an idea especially if you have a place in mind because uh, per guest is the highest cost of them all so if you have an idea of how many guests you will end up having and an idea of where your wedding will be held um, catering and drinks will give you a basic idea there um, another thing is you can split among the parents like a few like one of them pays for flowers or photo or video and all this stuff or Traditionally, it used to be that the bride's parents used to pay for the whole wedding. The groom's parents used to pay for rehearsal dinner, um, honeymoon, and the groom would pay for the house that they would leave after and take care, of course, of um, the bride and the family that they will make later on. But again, things have changed. Everything is now up to each individual. As long as it works for you, as long as you don't get yourself and everyone else in so much debt that we're talking of years paying for that night. I mean, I understand that wedding is just a once in a lifetime, um, big, amazing party, but also there's ways of making it just like that without going crazy on the budget. Um, but again, I just wanted to say how important being clear it is having a good communication is and don't have expectations before you have a talk. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you think this is helpful, share it. And I would love to see you on uh, Instagram at Hey Bride. Um, you're seeing us here on Facebook and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.